We snowshoe and hike past an old cabin in the woods. Some information on this cabin is provided by Yvonne Odber. This site has wonderful childhood memories for me. While there is some tragedy surrounding the cabin, an older brother named George shot and killed three RCMP officers in Peterson Creek in the 1960s. The brother I knew, Jack, was a kind and gentle man. My family would go up to the cabin twice a month to get Jack, bring him back into town, do all his shopping and appointments over a couple of days, and then take him back. I remember parking on Goose Lake Road and hiking up the mountain, carrying or dragging the groceries up the hill, and in the winter we had the fun of riding a snowmobile, pulling a sled through the bush. After several years of this, Jack eventually cut a road from his cabin to the Goose Lake Road by hand, so my dad could drive his truck up to the cabin. I remember sitting for hours in that tiny cabin, cabin although I do remember being it being much bigger, and listening to Jack tell us stories about his life on the mountain. Sometimes Jack would take us outside where, where my brother and I would sit quietly while Jack would stand with his arms outstretched and whistling so that whiskey jacks would land on him. My brother and I played for hours in the bush imagining life in the olden days and playing with one of Jack's faithful companions, Rufus, a, 50, a Heinz 57 dog. Eventually, Jack developed Parkinson's and became too frail to live in the bush. He lived with us for a few months until he was able to go to Ponderosa, where he eventually passed away. Jack was a very quiet, unassuming man, and it really was a pleasure to have him in our lives, even for the short time that he was. My parents still have a photo of Jack sitting around the campfire in their rumpus room, and we still use the pumpkin pie recipe we got from Jack every, th every Thanksgiving and Christmas. If you visit the cabin, listen for the whiskey jacks and picture him standing there as they flock to him.